Hey ladies and gents, this is Izdoiz coming to you with a review of the Advent of Decay Weapons Packs. Um, so, in addition to the action figures available as part of the Advent of Decay Kickstarter wave, um, there are also these weapon packs that you can use to accessorize and arm those figures. Um, and so let me show you what those look like. Um, as far as I know, um, you know, to get all of these weapons, you'd have to buy a bunch of other figures because um, a lot of figures have uh, different weapons, um, you know, signature weapons that they use, and not all the weapons are available with all the figures. And, of course, once you have the weapons, um, the deco or the color schemes are going to be different. So... Um, Fans really like these. Um, I really like them. You know, you can use them with other lines of the same scale. But let me show you what we have here. This appears to be the Dwarf Weapons Pack. Um, it has this um, new Warhammer, which is really cool. Um, love the sculpt on that. Not sure what this little these little pokey things are on the bottom, but um, that sort of adds to the uniqueness. Then you have this long sword, you have this smallish dagger, this knife kind of looks like a modified uh, buoy knife or something. Then you have this uh, battle axe, this, um, and I'm not going to get these right. I know that there's like uh, different names for different swords and all that, but I I'm not that um, up on that. So this is another kind of sword, kind of looks like a... A machete sort of um, because of the curve on the blade um, then you have this mace very cool looking and then the shield shield so um, you know weapons and shields are part of these packs the dwarf shield has this handy dandy new uh, handle in the back that swivels and then I know for a fact that this part pops out so my I'm imagining that there are going to be other interchangeable um, face plates to put on that particular shield in the future okay so there's that and then um, talking about meeting little nasty guys this is part of the assortment that goes with skeletons and and goblins you don't have to use them for skeletons and goblins but i think they they play well with those particular figures you have this here um spear this sword that i i definitely remember seeing with a different deco um with the skeleton priestess um there's one of these um, weapons holders. You have this dagger with its sheath. You have this um, other weapons holder and a skeleton, uh, a skull that goes on top of the battle axe. Um, the battle axe, you have this um, short sword with a bone handle. You have this um, sort of spiky bone handled um, weapon and then you have this sort of scimitar with the curvature evocative of a scimitar and then you have this really really cool turtle or some other kind of terrapin or some other kind of creature that's kind of like a turtle um shell um shields with um metal spikes so that's what that looks like From the back and from the front. And then uh, here is another. Um, looks like possibly this may be the human weapons pack. I'm not sure. Um, the battle axe looks kind of elfin in design. You have this mace with a metal um, chain. This... Um, very cool shield. You have the sheath 
for the longsword. You have this sort of scimitar, not scimitar, but I don't know, um, a sword with the, with the curved. You have this elaborate longsword with a hilt and then a double sort of quasi-hilt sort of protruding there. You have a um, crossbow and then you have this really neat um, trident with all this decorative like scrolling runes or something on the uh, handle. That's what that looks like from the back. Beautiful work on all of these beautiful designs. And of course, you don't have to use this with humans or elves or dwarves or whatever. You can mix and match them however you please. This looks like a good, if I were describing it, a good elf weapons pack as opposed to an evil elf weapons pack. You have the golden um, bow with the elastic string. You have this really sharp, cool looking um, sword that attaches to that. So you can have a sort of a staff with sort of two blades on the end. This very cool elven uh, sword, um, short sword, or I don't know, long dagger. And then you have this very cool quiver. I love the design on this elven shield. There's a um, another bow here. It's not the long bow, it's the short bow, I guess. And then another longsword with a beautifully, beautifully sculpted um, hilt. An arrow, very important for use in the bow. Um, I guess this sh could have come with uh, more arrows. Since you've got two bows, two arrows would probably be a good idea. But um, there's only one. And then there's this sort of battle axe, which is... Um, very, very cool. Show you that from the back. Again, nice work on those. And then you're going to see that duplicated with the um, evil elven, uh, maybe the shadow elf set, where you have exactly the same thing. Um, the long bow, the short bow combo, um, and all of the same weapons that you had in this heroic color scheme and except they're you know dark and shadowy and dominated by blacks and purples so um i'm getting close to have uh to interview uh, not reviewing all of these um figures so i figured i'd go and take a look at the weapons pack and then we've got probably i think uh, four more individual figures to review before I've gone through all of them. So, um, it's DeWiz signing off.